In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and replace rear sway bar links on a Nissan Maxima. Remove the tire, 21 millimeter socket. Remove the rear sway bar lower link from the lower bar, the rear sway bar, and I'm going to pair a pair of locking pliers on the inside of that, make sure it's nice and tight, and that's going to be a 16 millimeter socket. Now we can pull that link out, so I'm going to put a pair of lock pliers on the back of this link to hold it. Stop it from spinning before I put my 16 millimeter socket on there. Now we can remove those pliers and take the old link out. Now we can reinstall with the new link. I'm going to put the upper in and the lower. There is a left from a right. There's a difference on the angle. And you'll see it if you do them in pairs like you should. That way you can see that there's a left and a right. The new lock nuts on this link are 15 millimeter and there is a hex in the back. It's a 14 millimeter that you can hold it from spinning. So I'm going to put my 14 millimeter on the back here. Hold that. Snug it up and then I'll get my torque wrench and do the same to the top. millimeter socket torque wrench is set to 37 foot pounds reinstall your tire to start the lug nuts by hand Twenty one millimeter, snug them up. Notice I do it in a crisscross pattern. Now we can lower it and torque it. Twenty one millimeter socket, eighty three foot pounds, and we're going to torque them in a star pattern. Double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.